Ever get bored of playing racing games on Roblox? Well, you're not alone. But today I've got the ultimate solution to make your racing games more exciting. So in this video, I'm diving deep into Roblox Studio where I will give the secret formula to transforming your racing games from dull to super thrilling. Buckle up because I'm about to revolutionize row racing with this video. Hey, Kiloy here. Today I'm sharing four game-changing scripts for Roblox Studio that will make your racing game epic. So let's get into the video. In Roblox Studio, implementing ERS is easier than you might think. Let me show you how. First off, you need this AC6 digital display plugin here. Uh, if you don't want to do anything with it, you can just go to the car model. This, for example, this Williams car. You go to a chassis tune. This one. Go to plugins and just place it in plugins like that. Yeah. But if you want to customize it, uh, you need to go to starter GUI. Uh, you need to search for something called screen GUI. Take the AC6 digital display. You can customize it. You can change. Okay, let me explain the script first. Okay, this text, it says on or off. You can change that. If you want to change it to on, uh, you want to change from on into overtake. Then you can change it into that. You can change it off to what? Harvest. Yeah, you can change it into that. It's quite simple. I think you don't even need to, you don't really need to know a lot about scripting to do that. But yeah, you can just change both of these if you want to. And these, these are the color, the color of the text. So right now, it when it's off, it's white. When it's on, it's orange. If you want to change it, like for example, you want to change from when it's off, it's what green, not red. And when it's on, it's then green. In there, voila, and you're done. Very simple. Then after you're done customizing it, you can change the image of this or the color. You can make it green. Then if, when you're done, you put it back in plugins. And let's do. Let's test it out. There you go. It it says it says it there, but you can move it somewhere else. This is kind of covering it up, but it'll work. See, it says overtake. It turns green, and then when it's harvesting, it's red. Very very simple, and this would make your game ten times better. And especially when racing, the drivers can overtake in the straights. Very nice, and yeah. On to the next one. And next up, we have DRS. DRS is track reduction system. DRS gives drivers an edge, reducing drag, increasing straight line speed. But not in Roblox. In Roblox, it's just for looks. It's just for uh, aesthetics. It just makes it look cool. It doesn't do anything to the tune. Just like just now, the ERS made the car faster. This one does absolutely nothing. If you want to skip this, you can just skip it. Anyways, uh, you need to watch closely. I'm going to demonstrate you how to uh, incorporate DRS into your game for training, uh, for training aesthetics, basically. So first up, you need my DRS kit script. I'll link it in the description. You have to join the Discord server and you have to go to the channel named free products or something uh, yeah somewhere something there but anyways this is the script first up you can just ungroup it you can ungroup this one DRS scripts this one's important close and open first up you go to the rear wing of your car 
you see this is the rear wing of your car right uh it's fairly normal but you need two models of the rear wing the one when it's closed and the other one when it's opened like that but make the one that when it's open clo uh, invisible transparent and you need to name the one that's opening up you name it close and you name the one close open so it's very confusing but you you get my point okay so now you take the script name open you put it into open and then you take the script that's named close you put it into close and yeah the DRS scripts basically done now now you just need to put the DRS zones so this green thing is where you want the DRS to open when the car goes into the green thing the DRS opens so you want to place this precisely where on the DRS zone start and this where it ends so when the uh, where do you want the DRS zone to be close is here for me it's here so you just place it there and now let's test it out the, let's place the spawner and let's test it out okay my brush tool is very annoying anyways into the car we go S see the rear wing closely it enters the zone, it opens, magical, very nice. Enter the close zone, it closes. So yeah, that's the script for the DRS, let's go to the next one. Okay, now follow along as I walk you through creating a dynamic front wing damage system. So first, you need my dam car damage model, you just ungroup this model for now. You just leave that now okay now you gotta search for the front wing okay this is the front wing i'll just move it to body because it's easier to see i don't have to scroll a lot okay so this is the front wing model now take these all of these the sound the collide the crash script the health and the sparks oops and the sparks yep okay now you take all of these you place them in the front wing Simple as that, and you're done. Now let's place a wall to, for the testing purposes. No that no drivers were harmed in this experiment. Okay, let's test it out. All right, so this is the car. Okay, let's reverse up a bit. Okay, now if we do this properly I think the front wings gonna drop out yep there you go front wings gone and yeah I don't have a way of repairing it yet so that might be coming in the up uh, next few videos but for now that's about it for the front wing damage grip I'll keep you updated have you ever wondered why all the racing games you played feel so slow one of the factors are, there's no camera shake. When there's camera shake and motion blur and all that, it makes the car feel faster and you, you can actually feel the downforce, you can actually feel the car, you can actually feel the seat vibrating and all that, you know? So how do you implement this script? It's very easy. Uh, you take this script from my Discord server in the description, you take this model it says shake camera shake or something you gotta find that okay so you take so from this model you just need this put it into a chassis tune put it in the plugins and you are done basically okay let's test it out it's very easy to implement that script you can feel now the car is very vibrating it's quite realistic, feels quick. 
So, to wrap it up, I want to thank you for watching this video and joining me on this journey to elevate your racing game experience. Don't forget to click the video on screen to check out Ultima, a tech company offering top quality cars, tracks and assets for the row racing community. Subscribe for more awesome content and I'll see you in the next video.